it's called the morning pages and it's one of the ways to unblock and to release a, a, a lot of stuff that you you know maybe you're holding on to that's the first thing i do then i write like a gratitude list and then i write stuff that i would like to manifest or my goals or my vision stuff like this I feel I've realized networking and this and that is not going to help me succeed. What is going to help me succeed is me get becoming the best version of myself. If I can do what I want to do, firstly I'll respect myself more and secondly people will look at you and say wow I want to learn how to do that or I want to be like that. You know not because you're their best buddy. So for me that's something I'm very clear at. So for 6 months I had major issues with sleep. So now I'm very particular. I have like a full ritual. So like 2-3 hours before I try not to be overly I try not to drink any caffeine. Second is you know I avoid blue light. Yeah. yeah, so like anything which has a blue light of course affects the production of melatonin in your brain. So I'll avoid the phone. Oh yeah, one more. So I drink like a magnesium drink before sleeping. I think of four things, four things before sleeping. So one is something that I'm grateful for, something that I was grateful for today. Number two, something that I learned today. Number three, something good that I did for someone. And number four, something good that somebody did for me. And what that does is, of course, it's a beautiful way. You feel very positive. You feel happy. But also, what it does is, we have—I don't know if people in the past have spoken about the vagus nerve. Yeah. So the vagus nerve gets stimulated. That's the one which is connected to your parasympathetic nervous system, which is what is connected with the relaxation response in your body, and of course, that's what's connected to sleep. now yoga has a much more a broader perspective i don't think that i could you know you can be going to the gym and doing weight training and if you can connect deeply and you can become one with what you're doing to me that is yoga you know if you're deeply involved in dancing and you like so one with it or a musician or a dancer or, you know there's so many ways that's what yoga is you have to be empty if you have too much mental dialogue um that one pointed focus is not going to be there you know it's like a state of concentration where even your mind has to drop and i mean of course you have to focus on your technique of what you're going to do and that's the only thing you know you're just so in your body completely one with it i want to be very very at peace you know that's i've been a seeker all my life right um i really want to resolve everything that is holding me back from being at peace you know um it doesn't mean a state of um, where there's no movement but it's just like being at peace with whatever happens right i feel i'm not there for sure as yet uh so that's like definitely where i would like to head to